For me, it's really exploration. I don't know where it comes from. It's been with me since kindergarten. I already gave like Mars Rover presentations in primary school. I think it's just so great if you can explore the unknown. And with these robots and these instruments, since I can't go there by myself personally, I think it would be really cool if we could have our little robots on the surface of the moon and, and discover what's there. Yes, we're now going to place some Easter eggs so that the scientists with the robots will find them and hopefully analyze what they are. I'm Florian Kehl, I'm from the University of Zurich and I'm co-leading the GLIMPS team for the European Space Agency's Space Research Challenge. That's going to be tricky. Hendrik Kolbenbach is the other co-leader on the robotic side from the ETH Zurich. We would have to ask the geologists what it actually is. The European Space Agency had a call for teams that would like to participate in a competition to demonstrate technologies for resource scouting on the Moon. We were selected amongst 13 other teams and then we had the chance to demonstrate our technologies. This was the first part of the challenge. Out of these 13 teams, uh, five teams qualified for the final round. We received 75,000 euros to uh, advance our technology and then be ready for the competition, which is going to happen now in Luxembourg in two weeks. We are here today in this quarry just close to Lake Zurich because we are trying to simulate a lunar landscape. We want to go to the moon towards the end of the decade and scout for resources on the moon. It could be used for building materials or for resources for people to live off, uh, let's say to find water or oxygen that the, the astronauts could breathe. If you look around, it really looks like a, a lunar landscape. We have big boulders, we have uh, steep inclines, we have regolith and all the, the things that we would expect. We still have one G of gravity, we don't have just a sixth gravity as we would have on the moon, but this is good enough to simulate the challenges that we're going to face in this competition that we're going to have in Luxembourg. And I think we have a really strong team. First of all, we have a really strong team spirit. I think what makes us also very strong is that we have very diverse backgrounds. We have the roboticists, we have electrical engineers, we have planetary scientists in the team, geologists that help us to analyze the samples that we're looking at. We have instrument developers and technologists. Starting mission, we're live, right? Yes, we're live. Right, good luck, guys. Gloria, can you note down that mission control guy? It's okay, it restarted. But... Here. It's very human to push boundaries. Sometimes you try to push boundaries even though you don't know what's going to be beyond those boundaries. And that's also what basic research You're ready is. as a safety operator. So there's so many technologies that came out of spaceflight that we use nowadays in our everyday life. Be it your cell phone camera, the camera you're recording here, um, have been developed um, for, for space missions in the beginning. Now we have them in our pockets. Or the infrared thermometer that you use for your ear to measure your temperature. Okay, so we got it. Uh, has also been developed for spaceflight. Uh, you also want to watch your soccer match that's happening somewhere across the world in real time. So you need uh, satellites or GPS navigation. Okay. Oh, that's yes. actually quite nice. There's so many technologies, but also for, for healthcare that helped us to advance uh, as human beings. And that's really why we do basic research and why we try to push boundaries. It didn't go everything just perfect. There's still lots of work to be done. Um, sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you make mental notes like, oh, this still needs to be done, this needs to be done. But the team is working hard uh, to get these things done that we're ready. And um, of course, we're also very excited. We're looking forward to, to going to Luxembourg. We have 
the right people and the right technology to really hopefully uh, win this competition.